Hello, we are having a browse around the inside of this 2005 Willoughby Westmoreland. It's a 33 by 12 two bed. It's priced at 8665. We're going to have you show you a I'm going to show you the condition and the layout and have a walk around. So let's get on. So you can see here we've got a fitted seating area across the front of the caravan, fairly standard for the Westmoreland. Upholstery is all in pretty good nick. Looks to be the original upholstery and uh, nice thick cushions for both the backs and the bums. So nothing to worry about there. We've got a gas fire unit opposite there with a place for telly above and some additional storage. These are the sort of doors that are going to delaminate. De so there is some on the edges, I'm sure, um, yeah, on the bottom and on the sides. We can trim some of them sometimes, so we just need to have a look at how many there is there that need it doing as to whether or not we can do that within the price. But we can usually do something on the doors there if that's trimming them, if that's painting them or uh, whatever. So come along, have a look, and we can have a decision there as to what to do. But nice windows across the front of the caravan, as you can see. We've got these uh, sort of pretty pelmets as well as the curtains change them up to something a bit more modern maybe edge where the pelmets are if you wanted to but um, obviously not doing any harm to anyone we've got two exterior doors one comes into the living room area there where we've got a bit of a carpet mat and then also one further back into the hallway we've got a dining table here so this has got the two chairs plus the, also the fitted seating area sometimes people remove that to fit a freestanding dining table and chairs as it stands you've got the fitted seating area which seats you know comfortably three people plus your two chairs but uh, obviously up to you whether you kept that or not Coming up to the kitchen, we've got the same style doors in the kitchen as we do in the living room, so um, you're going to have a bit of edging going on some of these doors. You can get on and use the caravan and the kitchen as it is uh, without doing anything with them, of course, but um, as always, just highlighting any bits and pieces I see as I go around. Got a gas hob, oven and grill there, but otherwise, other than the bit of delaminating, it's all quite tidy. Kitchen worktops are decent. Um, decent enough size kitchen in a 3312. We've got a fridge there, an undercounter fridge at the end. Carpets, I think the carpets are original up the front here. I think it's the pattern that they used to have. Again, a little bit of wear, but nothing uh, nothing too bad. Same goes for the vinyl, really, as we come through uh, the dividing door here from the living area to the bedrooms. Certainly nothing really wrong with any of the vinyl or the carpet there. Coming to the back of the caravan, we've got our main bedroom. It's a good size, really. As I say, a bit of a shorter caravan, uh, but it's a good size. We've got plenty of storage over the top of the bed there. They're kind of rolling doors. I'll just show you, I think, from memory. Oh no, they're not. They're just folding out normal doors. I thought they were the rolling type. We've got some good storage over the top. Again, a bit of an edge scrape, and I'm not going to highlight the uh, edges anymore, but that's just something that's going to happen with this type of door. You've got decent sized wardrobe space on the opposite side there. And on my left hand side, we've got the vanity area with a little stall and our window, of course. The uh, wardrobes over here, they've got the folding doors. Ooh, good size, as you can see, storage area. Um, but it's storage a few bits and pieces in there needs to clear out but um good size we also benefit from a lift up bed which is good for additional storage as you can see just pops up and holds the bed up so we can chuck in a, a suitcase or a few bits and pieces under there if we want to so this has got a jack and jill bathroom so i'm just going to show you that here we've got a door into the bathroom but i'll show you the bathroom in a minute off the hallway just to try not to confuse things so coming back out of our main bedroom directly opposite the door for the main bedroom is our twin room twin room has two single beds in it we've got storage same style storage over the top of the bed there and we've got a wardrobe cupboard on my left hand side i think they've had some kind of de um, shelf or something fitted there but probably just needs to be taken out but good size twin room so then coming back to our bathroom this is over here and this can be accessed through the door here off the hallway and also the door off the main bedroom as you can see got an electric panel heater in here and spinning rounds we've got our shower so this is one of the three part sliding doors as you can see slides back to provide a decent size enclosure as well so that's our jack and jill bathroom as i say off the hallway and off the main bedroom that's been the inside of our Willoughby westmoreland i'm going to jump outside and show you the exterior just having a walk around the westmoreland here you can see you've got that sort of bay window off the front with nice size glass Got a bit of damage on the front barge boards, not doing any uh, harm to the caravan, but just a little bit of dent up on the top there. Uh, but the panel, other than that, around the front there looks tidy. Looking down the uh, offside there, going to get a bit trapped by those steps. I'm going to go around the other way. We've got proper downpipes and guttering. These are the uh, the Willoughby style ones um, in green. You've got a couple of little bumps along this side like that one there. But nothing too bad, nothing... Nothing too bad there, no bad damage. You've got a couple of holes under the door, that's where the steps have been fitted. We can fill those, no problem. 
back of the caravan we all do have the gas pipe and a gas regulator we do take those off as part of our process um, so that you can get a new one fitted and make sure it's all gas safe and tested properly um, so we will take that off uh, a bit of silicon to clean off as well but other than that fairly tidy and down the offside there looks all right as well so fairly decent on the outside especially considering the age i think it's been well looked after we come and have a look at the chassis it's quite a thick chassis actually so it's a good size not galvanized but it's a good size chassis bit of surface rust on there but um that metal is absolutely solid so no worries at all about the chassis so that has been our willoughby west moorland it's a 2005 33 by 12 two bed Priced at 8665, nice layout and condition inside. We can fit a double glazing into these things, so if you wanted us to fit double glazing, that's always an option if you like the layout. We can chuck some double glazing in there, usually costs about 1500 to 1800 pounds, and that'd be double glazed then with some electric heaters throughout. So if you want to do that, then it's always an option. But so until next time, check out another video, give us a call, pop along and see us. Hopefully, see you soon.